Alright, here they come. We just breathe normally now. We're good. Keep rolling, keep rolling. <laughs> Sweet, so we just went from a thousand feet to fifteen thousand. Sweet! What are, we, what are we doing back here? Just getting ready to put on an air show demonstration. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to watch the demo of what I'm then, in about an hour or two, going to go up and do. As a member of the Air Combat Command 20th Fighter Wing, it is our distinct pleasure to describe for you today a combat capability demonstration by the world's premier multi-role fighter, the F-16 Fighting Falcon, affectionately known as the Viper. Squeeze the butt cheeks like you're squeezing something in between it real hard, and you can almost feel yourself lift up a little bit. And then the gut is not simply like a, a crunch, but you're gonna have that G suit and it's gonna go, it's gonna collapse your stomach. Because those G's are gonna go, and they're gonna wanna spread your legs apart. So pretend like we have a little exercise ball right here. So butt, gut, knees, heels, all right? So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and relax for a second. Here come the G's, initial prep breath, hold it. One, two, breathe. One, two, breathe. One, two, breathe. And relax. Awesome. Uh, what you can expect, so uh, we'll go out there, I'll have you hop in the back seat. Um, I'll do a walk around of the jet, so I'll make sure everything's good to go. Uh, my guys will little crew so I'll pop up, they'll make sure you're all strapped in. Yeah, so I don't know how many people know this, but so the F-16 originally designated as the Fighting Falcon, but like no one calls it that, maintainers, pilots, but I'll, I'll call it the Viper. And it really comes from Battlestar Galactica, the resemblance of uh, the Vipers on the show to the Vipers uh, that we fly. So they're both killers and I think the name just stuck. So. <laughs> no Cylon Raiders though? No, uh, we tend to destroy them. I don't know. <laughs> those, are, those would be Russian flankers, I guess. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Had to, had to get that. Gotta send that, Gotta send that to Eddie on. <laughs> Once I'm done with the walk around, I'll hop up and uh, that's when we'll go through everything. So I'll, I'll, sh I'll point out all the switches we talked about. So remember the right. Uh, the comp panel, it's like the only one that's going to be on your left hand side. Um, I'll sh show you the important switches, kind of how to use them there. Uh, you'll have your oxygen panel on the right. Uh, I'll show you how to set those up. Pretty much everything should be all the way up except your emergency oxygen, that red one. These are like two radios that I use to contact outside of you. I'll point all those out. We'll make sure you don't have any questions. We'll take a selfie up on the, on the ladder because it's important. We'll get a selfie there with the selfie as we're flying in the cockpit. So. So we'll do that, and then I'll hop in the front. Uh, I'm going to be quiet for a little bit as I get strapped in. Uh, I'll turn the battery on, then we'll be able to hear each other and we'll be able to talk, but uh, still keep your mask down, so we'll be able to breathe yet. I will lower the canopy, and then once the canopy's down and locked, I'll say, all right, canopy's down and locked, you can put your arms wherever. Then I'll, I'll start the engine, I'll do all that stuff. I'll be doing a bunch of ground ops, just getting the tight way to fly. Uh, I'll try to talk through what I'm doing, so engine start, flight control checks, brake checks, that kind of thing. Uh, 
Uh, once we do that, we'll taxi out. We'll go all the way to the end, all the edge of the runway, and we'll get prepped for takeoff for the runway. For that, uh, the big thing that you need to do is arm your seat. So I'm going to say, all right, my seat's hot in the front. You'll probably hear a little bit of snap. Uh, from the front cockpit. I just need you to lower that. I'll hear the snap. And then just let me know your seat's hot in the back. Okay. And that's all you need to do. Alright, all right, we're all set up. You ready to go? I am ready to go. Alright, let's do it. Tower, Viper Zero One, straight for takeoff, 2 2 left. Viper Zero One, runway 2 2 left, line up and wait. Viper Zero One. You have to talk with your uh, your radio voice to sound cool. I have to talk with my radio voice? It's like lowered and slower. It's lower. Yes. You have to talk like they're inconveniencing you. <laughs> Get a little gravelly going on. All right, let's go ahead and arm our seat. So go ahead and take that lever and lower it. Viper zero one, quick climb two, one zero thousand is approved. Runway two two left, wind one nine zero seven, gust one four. Clear for takeoff, change to departure. Viper zero one, clear for takeoff, two two left. Quick climb two thousand approved. Push four, thanks. All right, you ready to go? Yes, sir. Um, all right, good engine. Here comes some after bear. Foil's good, nozzle's good, our paint looks good, if it's good, good engine. Rotating. We're off the ground, here's coming up. Pull it back so we don't over speed. Altitude. Alright, gears up, full corn. You ready for some G's? Yep. Alright, here they come. Dr. Becker 01, they're going to pass it 3,000 for 10,000. You're good to start one shot departure. Unclear. Sweet, good. Just breathe normally now. We're good to go. This is so cool. Take a good look down below us. All right. That was a sweet takeoff. That was awesome. <laughs> that was fracking awesome. That was fracking awesome. So you can look back. There's the runway over there at about our 8 to 9 o'clock. Yeah. Looks a lot smaller from up here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that was uh, 7.2 Gs. So how fast are we going right now? So 260 knots calibrated. So that is ground speed. That's about 330 miles per hour. All right, so we're getting ready to get in the airspace. Uh, once we get in there, I'll have you take the jet, and I'll have you try one of those triple rolls we talked about. Okay. All right, you ready to fly? Yes. All right, let me set a couple things up. All right, you have the aircraft. Now you said to roll it, I push it down or up a little bit? Uh, so pull it like back towards you to pull the nose up. Yeah, that's good right there. Let me give you a little more airspeed. All right, then you can just roll to the left. Try doing it three times. Boom. There's one. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Roll, roll, roll. There's two. Boom, Altitude. there's three. Altitude. All right, I have the aircraft. Nice. That was actually really good for the first time touching the controls of an F-16. <laughs> All right, you want to try a high G turn? Yes. All right, you have the aircraft. Okay, so that's again, point it down a little bit and then back. Yep, back down a little bit, then roll to the left. So you have the aircraft, you put your nose down a little bit. And then up. There we go. Now roll to the left a little more. Altitude. A little more, a little more. Altitude. A little more, and now you can start a pull. <coughs> All right, I have the aircraft. <sighs> nice, how'd you do? Good. You survived, as you just pulled 9.2 Gs. I did? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Good job. Yeah, you pulled more, you pulled more G's than most of the guys on our team have pulled. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right, um, you ready to get into some of the demo? All right, so the first one we're gonna start off with is that Q and A. Remember? Yeah. All right, so this will be about seven and a half G's on the initial pull, and I'll let you know when to start breathing. All right, you ready for some G's? Yeah. All right, start your strain. All right, easing up over the top. We're at three Gs right now. 10,000 over the top. Altitude. There's 45 degrees Altitude. nose low. 
All right. There's our uh, half of the Q and A. Pretty easy. So the next one's gonna be our triple roll. So that one that you just did, I'm just gonna fly it. Give you a little taste of what it's like for uh, for me down low. But this one's just gonna be more rolling. Okay. All right, you ready for it? Yeah. Here it comes. Here comes a triple roll. There's one. <laughs> there's two. And there's. Oh, I think that's three. <laughs> that almost felt like four. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a little whiffer deal reposition here. So we'll go up. We'll turn back around and drop it down. All right, now we're getting into our high G turns. This is the one where we're going to hit nine Gs for a fairly sustained period, okay? So just make sure you have that good G string. All right. Here we come. Start your string. <laughs> Boom. Nice. All right. We're going to roll out. We're going to invert here. Get a little bit of blood back to our head. All right, how you feeling? Good. That was good. We hit 9.3. So we'll come to the 9G Club again. That was about 270 degrees of turn, so that was good. Awesome. Sweet. Next one we're going to get into is our four point into our vertical reposition. So this one will be a little jerky, but there shouldn't be any Gs until we get into the vertical reposition. But nothing that should. Uh, Make you gray out or pass out. Nothing you really need to G straight for. All right, you ready for it? Yeah. All right, here comes the four point. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Into the vertical reposition. All right, we'll extend up a little bit. Rolling inverted. Good numbers over the top. And we'll drop it back down. All right, we're going to go straight down to the ground. We're going to turn around a little bit. We'll go this Interesting way. seeing the, the ground coming like this. It's awesome, huh? All right, we'll get a little bit of that low fly. It'll be at 1,000 feet and above. All right, so we're at about 500 knots right now. So you can see a much better ground rush down here. Oh, this is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Try not to scare too many farmers down there. I know, it's awesome, huh? All right, you ready to get into our uh, our fal falcon turn? Okay. All right, that's going to be a little bit of G's, and it's going to be to the left. Or it's going to be a lot of G's to the left. All right, you ready for the G's? Okay. All right, take that breath. Here they come. Quick reversal. <laughs> Boom, nice. That's our that's our Falcon turn. Wow. So that's a you just sustained about seven and a half to eight G's for about thirty seconds. That's good. That's that's a lot of G's to hold for that amount of time. Like that right there that you just did is uh, one of the more difficult ones, and as well as the high G turn. So, like solid job on those. Yeah, because you got to do those basically all the time, right? Yeah, like every reposition is a, is about like what you just felt to be in a little worse. Wow. Yeah, you're rocking it. All right, we're gonna slow down so you can kind of see 
but it's like flying slow in this, this beast of a machine. All right, whereas we were 500 knots a little bit ago on the floor, now we're 100, 125. We can go down to 115, but I'm just gonna keep it right around 125. So you can see for level flight, which we're in right now, uh, yep, so there's kind of those warnings I yeah. told you about. Yep, so level flight feels a lot different. You can see how high we have to keep the nose. Warning, 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 warning. All right, we're gonna just accelerate out of it, turn around, and then we're gonna get the max performance climb, okay? So this is gonna be our either last maneuver or second to last maneuver, depending on how you're feeling. Okay. This is my favorite one. This is the one I saw when I was a kid uh, at the air show that I like distinctly remember, and like this is what made me want to be a fighter pilot. All right, you ready for some G's? Okay. All right, okay, okay. Um, All right, there's one. There's two. And you can just breathe normal. There's three. That's four. That's five. And that's six. Sweet, so we just went from 1,000 feet to about 15,000 feet in about 20 seconds. Wow. Now we'll do our spiral descent. And if you're filling up to it, we can get into our dedication turn, which is, it's just another high G turn. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, hold, we'll hold off on it. We all Altitude. Do. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> all right. So that wow. is, uh, that's our demo for the most part right there. Wow. You rocked it. How you feeling back there? I'm good. Good. Nice. Sweet. In that case, uh, I think that's it. We'll get our, don't let me forget to the selfie on the way home. Got it. So we'll, we'll get that on the way back. Awesome. Yeah, let's climb it back up and we'll get, we'll head on back home. All right. Should we try to knock this selfie Altitude. out? Altitude. Sure. How far ever can you lean? Sweet. Boom. Awesome. So we hit 9.4 G's total. Viper 01, report traffic in sight. And you hit 9.2. Viper will go. That's, I, I mean, I, I might have. That's awesome. <laughs> I've never had a fam ride or anyone pull 9.2 other than my guys on my team. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, good job with that. Three, one, report due to so each G adds 100 pounds to you? It adds whatever your, your weight one, is. Traffic to follow to so each G kind of doubles what you weigh. So if you pull nine Gs, that's nine times your weight. Piper 01, runway 22 left, clear to land. Piper 01, clear to land, 22 left. All right, sweet, so that's it. Amazing. Pop back down. All right, head down for green. Sweet. Three, two, Roger. All right. We're just arrow braking right now. We keep our nose in the air. It just helps us uh, slow down a lot faster. Awesome. You survived your F-16 road. I did. I had so much fun. Thank you. Yeah, was, I cannot thank you enough. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so what did, what did I do in the plane? Yeah, so you, you did a triple roll, and then you pulled 9.2 Gs, and then we pulled 9.4 Gs. So I so, pulled 9.2 on my own. Yeah, on your own. I mean, you guiding, but I, no, you stopped com me, right? Completely on your own. I stopped you because we started going back up. So, oh. yeah, she got her nose down, 90 degrees, 9 Gs. That's good. Yay!